so in this video we are covering cqrs query flow so we are covering this part okay and this part we will cover in next video okay so uh, what we required basically so here request come we have controller and we need a employee query okay this is nothing but the simple class okay and uh, what we need to pass that query inside the query gateway and uh, we have the query handler which handle that query okay let's go to the programmatic way so first i'm going to create a package okay called query uh, so we have command now i'm going to create the package called query okay let me uh, create uh, the query class okay so uh, i'm creating the class get all em employee okay query get all employee query i need uh, again i'm creating another class called get employee by id query okay so yeah uh, i created two classes okay and uh, okay so uh, i also need another controller where i can uh, yeah fire uh, yeah uh, where i can fire the query okay so what i want to do i am going to rename this first employee controller to employee command controller okay so it should be uh, so it will be easy to uh, read okay so it is employee command controller now i am going to create another controller employee query employee query controller okay so uh, we need both annotations again so i'm just copying and pasting inside the controller and i am writing one gate mapping uh, okay let me write uh, yeah at the rate gate mapping okay it is simple employee okay public public which return the list of employee get all get all employee so i wrote this method okay so as per the diagram i need a query gateway so i am at adding query gateway okay okay so we have this query get all employee query okay so i'm just sending this get all employee query from the controller so i'm just creating the class okay and i'm just sending this query inside the query gateway so once we auto add this query gateway we just need to call the query method from the query gateway to send the query so we have query gateway dot query okay uh, so this is the query we are going to fire which is nothing but get all employee query okay and what it is going to return basically so we need to use a response response types okay so we have response types not the class right a multiple instance of the method which is provided by uh, this class and we need to pass the what kind of class it is going to return so it is nothing but the employee dot class okay and we need at the end we need to provide join so it will give the employee list as it suggests it will return the employee list 
so if i assign it to the variable it is going to the employee list giving you the employee list and i'm just returning this employee list okay so that's it for this uh, get all employee method so uh, we already uh, created uh, this uh, by id query so what i am doing i am just writing uh, for this query i am just writing the uh, uuid uuid as uh, id okay okay and i am just putting the annotation called at direct data okay so sh we should have the getter and setter okay so uh, again i am going to the controller i am writing the second api okay so uh, here what we are trying to do uh, i am just creating the new new command which is nothing but uh, the get employee by id query right so i am coming here i am creating new command copy paste copy paste import okay and here using path variable so here uh, using a uh, path variable we are getting the uuid as input okay so i am using path variable right and here i am passing id value as id okay so once we get the value as id here i need a uuid id okay so th this is how we are getting id from this url now we need to set this id here get all employee query dot set id and i am passing the id here so once i pass the id i need to pass this id here okay uh, sorry uh, i need to pass this query here and what it will return basically it will return the single employee and the written type should be the employee only instead of list and it is throwing some exception so it should not multiple instance of it should be the instance of response type dot instant instance of okay so yeah i change it to the response type instance of and yeah this is how we uh, write the controller for the specific query so in next video we are going to write the query handler for them thanks for watching